Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we've got another little hover effect for you today and what we've got is an image that when you hover over it, it reveals some text that grows and fades in like that. Pretty easy to do, we've got to do a bit of coding for this today but don't let that put you off, any CSS code I write today I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. So let's get started. I've got this page open in Elementor here. And what I've got going on is I've got a column and I've got another column in the middle just to buffer these for the demo. And I've got another column on the right. The way that these hover effects work for this particular one today is we've actually got the image residing in the column itself. And then the text that's revealed is a text widget that we're going to lay over the top. So let's start with our text widget. I'm going to go to the matrix. I'm just going to go get a text editor widget, put it in there. I'm going to populate it with a bit more text than that as I've got a larger area. Obviously you need to populate yours with the amount that you need there. So I'm going to get some dummy lorem ipsum text right there. And we'll populate it here. Great, okay, that's in there now. And now I wanna put an image in our column that's sitting behind it. So let's go to our column. Now we're in the actual column. We can go to style and background type, hit the little paintbrush right there, and it'll allow you to put an image in there. Let's perhaps use a different one this time use this one right here okay you can position it where you want center center is usually a good one um, you can have it scrolled or fixed if you want it to have some effects there I'm gonna leave mine as default here don't want it to repeat but size wise I want it to cover there we go that's a bit better okay so we've got our image in there and we can kind of see the writing but I don't really want to see the writing at all unless we're hovering over it and then we do ho when we do hover over it I want it to sort of grow in and appear so like I said earlier for this we have got to write a bit of code and to target these with codes I want to give our widget a CSS class so we can target it and also our column so let's go into the column and I'm gonna go over to advanced and here we're gonna find CSS classes and the column, uh, I'll give it GTX for growing text. I guess we'll call it like that. And I have noticed there's a little space between the column and the actual widget itself. I'm going to get rid of that by simply putting a zero in the padding column at the top there. If you've got the chain link, it'll do all four at once. That way, what we've got going on there is going to fill out to the whole size of the column which is what we want today. Okay, well let's go into our text widget now, the little blue link up at the top there. And this one I need to give a class as well. And I'll give it the same class, but just with a W on the end for a widget. So it's gonna be growing text GTX W widget, so we know which one it is. Now we've got this done, we can target this with some custom CSS. So let's update. I'm going to go to my theme customizer for anybody who doesn't know where that is. It's dashboard and appearance, then customize. That'll bring you to this page right here, which is common to most WordPress themes. At the bottom, we've got an additional CSS tab. If you're using the pro version of Elementor, you can actually write this in on the page itself, but we're not, so we have to write it in here. And let's give it a nice title. So it's forward slash star star forward slash. Anything you put between the stars won't be read as code. So it's a great place to put your titles in. Text grow. That way anybody that follows you in this site or if you write a lot of code like I do, it makes it so much easier to find. So we call our column GTX for growing text and it's class so it has a dot then the name GTX and then we open and close some curly brackets here. 
Now let's go back to our site. I want we've actually put an image in there. I need to refresh this page. First thing I want to do is put a height in there so it's the same as the one next door. So we'll say height colon 400 pixels. Let's publish that and just refresh the page and you should see it here once I refresh. There we go. And as you can see, it's 400 pixels tall. Now, the text widget inside of it, we gave a CSS class too. And I want to target that because I want to make the text really small so you can hardly see it and I'll make it transparent. And then when we hover over in it, it'll grow to the correct size that we want it there. And it'll be in the middle. So let's target our little class. Before we get out of our column though, because I'm adding padding and making things grow, I don't want anything to spill out of our column here. So I'm going to put another little line of code. Overflow hidden. That'll stop anything spilling out of it. And like I say, don't worry too much about following, uh, copying this while I'm doing it. I'll put any code that I write below the video here. Okay, so the class for our widget, it's a class name, so it's got to have a period in front of it, was growing text, GTX, and the W. Great, let's open and close some curly brackets. What do we want to do with this? Well, I want to squish it right down so everything's in the middle. So I'm going to give it some padding. 200 pixel RAM. And as you can see, it sort of squished it down the middle there. You can barely see that because of the color, but that's fine. That's what I want here. The semicolon on the bottom there. I want to make that font size tiny. So I'm going to say font size. One pixel. As you can see, it shrank to a tiny little line there, which is fine. And we'll give it the color of transparent. That way we won't be able to see it at all. Okay. As you can see, it disappeared from there. Now let's set up a hover state. So I'm going to copy all of this. Drop down a couple. I'm going to put it in below. Now after the W of GTXW, the class name there, with no space, I'm going to put a colon and then the word hover. This way we can set the actual hover state for it. Now padding, I'm going to bring that down back down to about 60 picks. Obviously you do whatever works for you. We won't see it till we hover on it. Font size, I'm going to bring back up to a reasonable size, say 16 picks. And I want the color to be white so we can actually see it, which is FFF hexadecimal. As you can see, it's grown to the correct size now. When we hover over it, it's just popping in like that. Which is great, but I kind of want to put a background on here so we can read it a bit better over that image right there. So I'm going to put a background. I'm going to make it black, which is hashtag and three zeros. But I don't want it to be fully black like that because I want to see some of the image behind. So, that, so black is really six zeros, but whenever it's six of the same, you can just put three. But as I want to bring the opacity down with a hex number, I'm going to put the other three in there. And then on the end, I'm going to put 75 for sort of 75% opacity. And we'll try that. We should see some of the image through it now. There we go. We can still read our writing nicely. That's fantastic. But it's happening way too quickly. I want it to happen a lot slower than that. So it's sort of gradual like our other one here. And to do that, I'm just going to add a transition duration to the regular state, not the hover state, to slow it down. And let's slow it down to maybe almost a second. Um, so we'll say transition dash duration colon and let's give it 0 0.9 of a second almost a second 0 0.9 seconds obviously you put in whatever works for you see how that's going to work 
That's more like it. It's sort of growing in a bit more gradually for us there. Fantastic. So I think that's going to do exactly what we want it to do there. So let's just publish our changes here. And we'll go back to our page. We've got everything saved in our page. Let's preview the changes with that one. There's our image. And when we roll over it, it's got our text revealing in like that. I made these pretty big today, but they'd be great for little info sections on your site to have three or four of them in a row. Of course, once you've got done, just give the same class to the next one and it'll have the same effect for you. So there you have it. There's an image to text hover effect with your text growing as you hover over it. So I hope you found that useful today and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.